In today's video, we are going to talk about how to run Python in VS Code on Windows 10 step by step. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So before we run Python on to our VS Code, there are some prerequisites. For example, we have to download and install and we have to make sure that Python is available into our system. So first of all, let's download Python and then we'll move ahead. So I'll just write here, download Python and hit enter. So just click on the first link that says download Python. It is from the official website of Python. So here it says download the latest version for Windows. The latest version is 3.10.5. In case if you want to go for some specific version, scroll down and you will have all the information about all the versions that are available out there as you can see in here. So you can download any one as per your liking. But I'll go with the latest one. So I'll just click on it. And now it will download my Python. I will just start it. After we are done with the download, I'll show you the installation process because there are some things that you must do in order to get the best out of your Python. I'll show you now that I have already installed Python into my system. So for that purpose, I'll open my command prompt. And in that, I will just write here Python and I will hit enter. So here, if you see, I have 3.80 version already installed and it is running. So I'll just get out of this. We are done with the download of our Python. I will just open that one. And now I'll show you that how you can install it. So basically you have two ways. You can directly install it or you can install by customization. I'll go with customize installation. And now from here, if you see, we have a lot of things that we can add by default. We have documentation, we have pip, which is the library. Then we have IDLE, we have Python test suits and many more things. If you go back, here we have an option that says add Python 3.10 to path. This is the path or this is talking about the environment variables. Because if you remember or if in case if you do not know, when we try to install Java or Python, we have to add both of them into the environment variables. So that is why I'll click that option and then I'll click on customize installation. From here, select those choices, click on next, and then click on install for all users. Now every user will be able to use this Python. After that, you just need to click on install and the Python installation will just begin. So we are done with the Python. Now it's time to download and install VS Code. So I will just write here, download VS Code, hit enter again. It will give you the link of the official website. So I'll just click on that one. So from here, we'll download our Visual Studio code for our windows. Here it is. I'll just click on that one. So here we have a file that is available and we can download it. I have already downloaded it. And now I'll go to the directory where I have my Visual Studio code. So here I have my Visual Studio code set up. I will just double click on that one so that we can install it. From here, accept the license agreement, click on next. This is the directory where you can install it. I will just click on next. Again, click on next, click on next and click on install. And now we'll be done with the installation of our Visual Studio code. We are done with the installation. Now just click on finish and we are good to go. Now I will launch my Visual Studio code and now I'll show you that how you can run Python into it. Basically from here, click open folder and go to the directory where you want to create your projects. I'll go to my desktop and I'll create a new folder and I will name it as Python. I will hit enter and I will just click on select folder. And now if you see, we are into our Python folder and now let's create a new file. So here, if you see, we have an icon that says new file. I'll just click on it. I'll name it as skills build.py and I will hit enter. So here we have a Python file. Let's print a statement. I'll write here print 
hello world and i will just save this file to save this file press control s or you can go to file and from here click on save now we are ready to run this code so i'll just click on this run python file icon and we'll have our output so here if you see here it says hello world so basically here we are done with the setup of our python into our visual studio code but there are some things that we must do if you are using your visual studio code for the first time and especially for python and that is go to your extension section that is right here click on that one and from here we need to download and install some of the extensions first one is code runner so i will just write here code runner and i will hit enter here if you see here it says run c c++ java javascript php python here as well so i'll just click on install and now here it is installing the code runner extension into our visual studio code it will take a little bit of time so we'll wait for it we are done with this one and now we need to do one more thing and this time i'll just search for python and i will hit enter it will look for all those extensions that are related to python so here if you see here this one is from the microsoft that shows this is the authenticated one i will just click on it in your case it will show you the direct installation option but in my case it has shown me to reload my visual studio code so now i'll again search for it and here it is i will just click on that one and we are done with this installation as well now we can have all those programs even if we want to have the input from the user as well i'll show you one here now let's create a program in which we'll ask the user to enter the input let me close my terminal and now let's have a program i'll just remove this one so for that purpose let's have a program in which we'll ask the user to enter his first and last name so for that purpose i'll take a variable as first equals input and in that i'll ask the user to enter his or her first name so i'll write here enter your first name after that let's have another variable and let's name it as second and i will have again input and in that i will ask the user to enter his second name so i'll write here enter your second name after that we are done now to print the output i will just write here print your name is and after that let's have a comma and let's call our variables and variable were first and the second one was second now let's save this program and now let's run it so i'll just click on this play button or run button so basically if i try to write here i cannot write my first name in here because we have to do one more thing with python to do so for that purpose go to your file section and then go to your preferences and then click on settings from here just write here run in terminal and just scroll down so here you will see something like this that says code runner run in terminal check this checkbox close your settings and now relaunch your visual studio code so that these changes can take place so we are back with the relaunch of our visual studio code and now let's try to run this program and let's see if it works or not so i will run my program simply here and now if i try to enter my name it is allowing me to do so so i'll write here zubair hit enter and here it says enter your second name so i'll write here aslam and i will hit enter so here if you see we have the output as your name is zubair aslam so this is how you can have the program in which you can take the input from the user in python and this is how you can run python in your visual studio code and that brings us to the end of today's video i hope now that you must have learned a new way or a very simplest way that you can follow to run python into your visual studio code step by step if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video Till then take care